And I just want to do this video tonight to uh, show the effects on the sun today of the uh, semi-sextile, 30 degrees between Mars and the sun. The effects are quite dramatic. Mercury's at 2 degrees of Aquarius, approaching the sextile of Jupiter, the moon. Uh, this shows the time of... Today we had a, a fairly major uh, coronal mass ejection at almost the exact time that the uh, sextile of... the semi-sextile of the Sun and Mars. Jupiter's at 16 degrees of Leo. First we'll look at the uh, red view of the sun. And we'll notice here, as yesterday, this long tendril of material energy flowing from the sunspot that we were just looking at to the right to this area here where there was a small corona mass ejection the other day. Now, in this, near the center of the sun, we have a small sunspot group. And what's significant about this is that this area here, we'll watch it, and as it approaches exactly straight on to the Earth, we'll see a good flare here. There it is there. I'll try and capture it again here. I'll pack it a little bit. And you know, there's the flare, and that's it when it, the sunspot's exactly pointing at the Earth. Now, you'll notice here, too, it starts to flare right at the end here. But the most curious part of the whole thing today is the area here where we had the previous coronal mass ejections. There was another one today. It's difficult to see it. Now, this area here is where we had the the large coronal mass ejection yesterday, right there. And it fades. And then we have a, another, like a whole section of the sun is ejected. It's not as powerful as the ejection yesterday, but it's quite significant. The, it comes from this region right down here where the energy is transferred. There it goes, you see. Now we'll view it in the composite view. And it occurs in this region of the sun here. And this is the exact region. There goes the corona mass ejection there. And you'll see how it curls out from the sunspot group down here, the bright area. And you'll see the energy build, and then it transfers across that section of the sun. And this occurred almost the exact moment that uh, the sun was at exactly 60 degrees to, or 30 degrees to, uh, Mars, the semi-sextile aspect. And this is the area here where it flares when it points directly at the Earth. And I've seen this occur on many occasions where a sunspot group will be pointing directly at the Earth and there'll be a flare at that, at that moment.
starts to flare. And it starts to flare more at the, right at the end here. So there'll be more activity in this sunspot group. But the main point of interest here is the flare. We'll just finish here with a uh, view from Soho. And here we have Soho. Uh, this is starting at the 7th. When, we had, when the, this period of uh, intense coronal mass ejections began. With the large number of aspects. You get the large one there on the 10th, second one on the 10th, and that second one occurred just about the exact moment of the 150 degree angle between Venus and Jupiter. And we're coming up to today, and we have the uh, coronal mass ejection that occurred today, and then we reset.